here that I think would be much more appropriate for them to hold the draft. Uh, but we got a little bit of a break by playing Saturday. Um, if we were playing tomorrow, it would be, I think, much more difficult to deal with. But the fact that we don't play until Saturday, I think, uh, gives our guys a little bit of time to, you know, deal with it. Uh, you know, emotionally come to grips with the, the excitement or the disappointment, whatever, and then be ready to go, you know, for Saturday. I know Saturday is still the day, the third day of the draft, and so uh, some guys are still going to have to be dealing with it on that day. But um, it seems like the second day of the draft seems to be the most uh, suspenseful, I guess, maybe is the best way to say it. But I, yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've been a long-standing proponent of moving it to, a, you know, after the season is complete. But you know, for whatever reasons, it just hasn't happened that way. So you have to deal with it, and uh, you know, Coastal Carolina, I'm sure, is dealing with it as well. So uh, I'm not sure which of their players they are considered great prospects, you know, or ones that they're they're thinking about. But you know, we all have to deal with it. It's, it's, uh, it's something unique to the sport of college baseball, that's for sure.